I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna throw. Now, you had a good, I had a good couple of questions. When I start with my underhook here, okay, my pinky is down, it's very weak, right? So I'm trying to turn that pinky up to throw myself on, out, out from underneath him, right? I'm creating a ramp here. So as I push against him, I'm strong. Now, as soon as I come up to my knees, that elbow drops. Does that make sense? I'm not grabbing his hip here. I'm trying to drop his butt onto his heels with my weight. Right? His wizard's holding on to me. If he lets go of that wizard, right, then I pop my head out and I'm on his back, so he's never going to let go of it. Right? So I'm using his wizard to keep his hips down. Right? Now I'm going to use my head and my hips. I shouldn't have to run him over. I'm just going to whip my butt around behind him to collapse it. Right? Now he's got two options here. What we've been doing is turning in, getting your own underhook right, and going out the back. His other option is to let go of that wizard. Right? And then I bring my arm underneath. Now I'm on his back, right? Just by reaching up around his head to grab his hand, it'll be there when I get behind him. Yes? So we're gonna get to here, grab your Kimura grip, right? Turn my foot underneath, take the back. Cool? One more time. Frame, swim, I stop and I throw. Reaching until I get to my knees, then I drop. You see his butt drop there. Right? Now I can just use my head and my hips, circle around, reaching up towards his head to lever his arm out. See how his hand wraps right by his face? Catch it on the back side, grip, my knees are up by his head, and I sit. Pull him into my lap. Yes? One, two, three.